where we are working how to solve this nice square root math problem from here we can rewrite this as square root of here we have root 675 and we can see that 3 times 225 and minus here we have root 648 and we can write that as 3 times 216 then divided by here we have root 243 and we can separate that as root 3 times 81 then minus here we have root 240 and we can write that as root 3 times 80 then from the law of a solving salt we have this and we can separate this into two roots from there and this becomes square root of of here we have <laughs> root 3 times root 225 minus here we have root 3 times root 216 also here the denominator we have root 3 times root 81 then minus also here we have root 3 times root 80 and what we have here we have root 3 common up here so this can be written as square root of root 3 out then into bracket we have root 225 then minus root 216 then divided by also from here we have root 3 then into bracket we have root 81 minus root 80 left here then in the next step what we have here we can separate it and uh, when we separate what we have up here we have square root of root 3 then times square root of root 225 then minus root 216 then also divided by here in the denominator as well we have root square root of root 3 then times square root of root 81 then minus root 80 root 80 here then also from here square root of root 3 times each other here then what we are left with here becomes square root of here root 225 that's 15 then minus here we have root 216 then divided by here what we have here root 81 so we have square root of 9 here that's 81 then minus root 80 here then we can write this from here and separate 216 as 36 times 6 so this gives us square root of 15 minus root 36 times 6 then divided by also we have square root of 9 minus here 80 we can write that as square root of 16 times 5 then also we can separate this into two roots and we have square root of 15 then minus here root 36 that's 6 then times root 6 here then over also here we have square root of we have 9 then minus root 16 that's 4 then times root 5 then what we have here root is 6 we can write it as 2 times 3 so we have square root of 15 
minus 2 times 3 then root 6 over also we have square root of here we have 9 minus here we can write this as 2 times 2 then root 5 then from here you can equally separate 15 here and write that as 9 plus 6 so we have square root of 9 plus 6 then minus 2 times 3 root 6 then divided by also 9 here we can separate that as 5 plus 4 so we have square root of 5 plus 4 here then minus 2 times 2 root 5 then we can make this to look like what we have which is f square plus a square plus b square minus 2ab will be given us a minus b all square now what we have up here we can write that and this will become square root of 9 can be written as 3 square then plus 6 here can be written as root 6 square then minus 2 times 3 times root 6 then divided by also what we have in the denominator we can write that as square root of 5 here can be written as root 5 square then plus 4 there can be written as 2 square then minus 2 times 2 times root 5 and when we look at this this follows what we have here and the, the numerator here we reduce to square root of 3 minus root 6 all square then over also the denominator here we reduce to square root of root 5 minus 2 all square then here square we cancel square roots and square cancel square roots so what we have left here is 3 minus root 6 over root 5 minus 2 from here then and rationalize this and multiply with the conjugate sort and also divide by that so multiply this by the conjugate sort here which is root 5 plus 2 and also divide by that and just multiply this as well which is root 5 plus 2 now then here 3 and multiply first so 3 times root 5 that's 3 root 5 then also 3 times 2 that's plus 6 then we have minus root 6 times root 5 that's minus root 30 then minus root 6 times 2 that's minus 2 root 6 then over here we have conjugate sort and that's root 5 square minus 2 square and from here, the square cancels square root, and 2 square is 4, that's 5 minus 4. 5 minus 4 there is 1. So we have this now as 3 root 5 plus 6 minus root 30 minus 2 root 6 over 1. So therefore, what we have here, we can rearrange it and say this is 6 plus 3 root 5, then minus 2 root 6, minus root 30. So here we have the solution to the given problem. And uh, we have come to the end of this class. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to this channel and turn the notification bell on. Share this video and give a comment. And see you next class. Bye for now.